Welcome to Mr. Criminology, where we share for you to learn and succeed. In this video, we will be discussing Article 363 or Incriminating Innocent Person. Under Article 363, Incriminating Innocent Person is committed by any person who, by any act not constituting perjury, shall directly incriminate or impute to an innocent person the commission of a crime. May tatlong elements para maging liable sa article na ito. First, offender performs an act. Second, by such act, he directly incriminates or imputes to an innocent person the commission of a crime. And third, such act does not constitute perjury. Na-discuss na po natin sa Article 183 kung ano ang perjury. Dito sa Article 363, yung ginawa ni offender dapat hindi pasok sa perjury. Kung pasok doon, perjury ang crime niya at hindi ito. Article 363 ay yung tinatawag natin planting of evidence. Yung ilalagay yung, evid eh, yung, ilalagay yung evidence sa iba para siya yung pagbintangan sa crime. Example, Si Pedro, sinaksak niya si Jose. Si Juan naman, nilagay niya yung dugo ang kutsilyo sa bag ni Totoy. Para si Totoy ang pagbintangan na nagsaksak kay Jose at hindi si Pedro. The evidence should not however consist of drug or drug paraphernalia, else the act is specifically known as planting of evidence punished by the dangerous drugs law or explosives. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and to subscribe.